talk because I'm here. Hi, I'm Bree. And I'm TJ. And this is our story. We are making a major life change. We're leaving tomorrow to live full time in our airstream. <laughs> I just like ran through that I so know, that was quick. That's great. You should just do this video by yourself. <laughs> but I was expecting that to be a lot longer. Like, I don't feel like that's enough talking. So, uh, sorry if this is awkward. We're, we're gonna totally suck at this for a while. It feels incredibly... Uncomfortable. Unnatural. Just horrible. <laughs> but hopefully it will get better. That's the plan. So we had this crazy idea a couple of years ago. We did a... Um, Two week... <clears throat> Uh, road trip in our pickup truck with a rooftop tent and we had the best time on that trip I mean honestly it was an amazing trip and we wished that we could have done it for months and as soon as we got home we said we could do this for another forever I mean it, year. honestly I mean, we were living in a tent basically and we said we could do this for another year and it would be great and every time we'd go on vacation, and I guess this is probably pretty typical, but every time we'd get back home, I'd be saying, I want to move there. That's the best place. I'm so tired of living in Florida. I want, I want to live there. Um, and so that combined with just a general feeling unfulfilled in life. Uh, just kind of stationary and bored right yeah I mean, I've worked at this or I worked at the same place for 22 years and Bree grew up in this town that we live in and both of us were just ready to make a change and we it, did something different right it seemed like a crazy idea but we we just we just jumped in with both feet and we listed our house and sold Almost, almost literally everything almost everything <laughs> and um, almost two years later we are about to actually embark on this adventure uh, we leave tomorrow um, to be full-time RVers we're headed up to where are we going Asheville North Carolina mm -hmm. it's now or never we've we've put this off so long or have been procrastinating and dragging our feet and not even that just life takes time sometimes and uh, you know it takes time to sell things it took time to sell our house and, and we had some rental property we had to sell and, and all these things just took much much longer than we expected mm -hmm. and, uh, even finding an airstream that you know was to was what we were looking for and, and then the tow vehicle oh my gosh don't get us started we'll do that's a whole other video in itself um getting into the tow vehicle and and neither one of us are from wealthy backgrounds i had a blue collar job where i, I worked management um brie was in a, a sales position uh, nothing fancy it's just I think it's one of those things we just decided this is what we wanted to do. We started saving our money, and, and uh, I think anybody can do it, you know, so. It sounds cheesy, but we had a dream, and we just stayed... Focused. Focused. I actually bought this phone cover that helps, it's got a saying on it that helps keep me on track. It says anything's possible if you've got enough nerve, and I thought that that was would be a really good reminder for the times when it seemed like what we were doing was insane and it would have been very easy to back out and decide to do different so so and we'd like to bring you along and show you our struggles and and talk about the things that we've had to go through for the last two years to get <laughs> to this point to where we're finally uh, loading up and heading out so, thank you for joining us. Are you ready to go? Oh, this you crazy mother.
We drove about five hours last night, uh, got in about 8.30 and stayed at this Walmart. We made the decision to stay um, on all back roads, not take the interstates to get here. So uh, it's taking a little longer than it would if we uh, had been on the highway, but uh, better, better scenery for sure and more enjoyable, especially for TJ who's doing the driving. Uh, so we're just gassing up now and hitting the road, have about another four to five hours to get to our campground in Asheville for a two o'clock check-in. So we just crossed the Georgia-South Carolina border and ran into the super cool dam that we had no idea existed. Uh, it's the Hartwell Dam. Uh, it dams the Savannah River and creates Lake Hartwell. Uh, it was uh, built by the Army Corps of Engineers, uh, started in 1955 uh, and was completed in 1962. We unknowingly have chosen the weekend of Christmas parades to travel. This is the third Christmas parade that we've run into this trip. Check this out. So we made it here. We're in uh, camp, Campfire Lodgings in Asheville, North Carolina. It's a pretty awesome place. Uh, uh, the premium sites, which are further away, are uh, rather expensive. So we're in a deluxe site, but the premium sites are pretty pimp. Really nice view. Thank you for following along, and we hope to keep you updated on a regular basis. So check back regularly. Have a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And we'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.